This is obviously a team you guys have not been able to score on so much this year, but are you glad, kind of at all glad that you get to play them and kind of get to try to get that first win against them in playoffs? Um, I think uh, it didn't matter um, the opponent that uh, we were going to get. I think that uh, at this point now, where we are, we we're focusing on, on, on ourselves and not the opponent. And I think that uh, we're peaking at the right time. Um, we're, we're obviously um, we're glad that we're in the position we're in, but we're not satisfied. So um, we just uh, we're looking forward to this game and, and, and looking forward to getting the result that we need to, to advance and, and go through. What do you think's clicked, uh, especially on the offensive side for you guys in the last three games? Um, I think it's just, uh, like I said, I think we're just speaking at the right time. I think that um, we have players on this team that um, have been in these positions um, before. Uh, it's an important time of the season, and, and players are just stepping up and making plays. Is that a factor, three straight wins, ten goals in, in that span? And if so, what kind of factor is that as you roll into the playoffs? No, it's, it's, a, it's, it's obviously a positive. It's something that... Um, it's momentum that, that carries us on to to every other game. So um, it all it all starts in the training field, on the training ground, and um, you know we translate it into the into the games. And is it significant that you come from behind at times where maybe you weren't doing that in other times of the season? It's just things that um, that we we have to deal with. I think that um, coming from behind uh, shows a lot of character, and it shows the, the type of team that we are. And that said, it, it, how much of a priority is it to to score first? And it's always important to score first, um, but you know we play 90 plus minutes too, so we can't. Um, if, if we don't score first, we can't also put our heads down. We have to keep fighting, and um, we know that we've done it before. And uh, if we have to do it again, we we will. Um, it's important for us to get the first goal, and um, at the same time, we got to stay composed and uh, knowing that the game is is 90 plus minutes. Darlington Nagby is a guy who seems like the players are always singing the praises of, of being on the field with him. Um, you know, people have really seen him step up, especially in the last few weeks. Uh, what's it been like uh, being out on the field with him, you know, as as he's sort of gotten his scoring boots on? No, he's an incredible player. Um, you know, we're all happy that he's... Uh that he's uh, scoring goals. Um, it's it's not um, we're not it's not something that we're surprised by because of uh, the type of player that he is. So it, it's it's nothing it's nothing new to us just because we we see him day in day out. So you know um, at the end of the day he's an incredible player and he's just making the plays that that he's capable of making. You guys have had all the games with Kansas City have been very close. Is there something about the matchup between these two teams that uh, has kept those games tight? Um, they're not. A, they're not an easy opponent. I don't think any team in this league is is is, is easy. I think that um, it's a Western Conference matchup, and uh, you know we, we we played each other a lot, and that also um, adds to to the fact that you know they know us and we know them very well. So it, you know, no game is easy. Playing against these guys is just. It's always competitive.